How's it going YouTube? In this video we're going to work on converting between radians and degrees. So in trigonometry of course we usually measure our angles uh, in degrees, we get really comfortable with them, then all of a sudden we learn about radian measure. And we want to be really comfortable going back and forth between these two and knowing how we can measure an angle either way. And it's actually not that bad of a process, it's all about whether you multiply it by pi over 180 or multiply it by 180 over pi. And essentially what matters is what are you trying to go into. So if you have something that is in degrees and you want it into radians, that's when you're going to multiply it by pi divided by 180. If it's already in radians and you want it into degrees, then you multiply by 180 over pi. Now you may be wondering, like, wait a minute, why does that fraction even work? Um, well, pi and 180 are actually equal to another, so this is what we call like our unit fraction. And it's essentially converting our units in the background so that we can get it into the proper radians or into degrees. So let's go ahead and grab some examples and see how this works out. So all of these happen to be in degrees and we really want them into radian measure. So imagine starting off with your degrees and then multiplying by pi divided by 180. Now there's nothing really that pi is going to end up simplifying with so when going in this direction usually you're just simplifying the other numbers. Uh, so let's see, I think we can go ahead and cancel out, uh, let's say, a 5 in there, so that'd be 45 over 36. Uh, I think we can also cancel out a 9. That'd give us 5 pi over 4. And then nothing else cancels, so there's our radian measure. 5 pi over 4. All right, moving on. 30 multiplied by pi divided by 180. Again, pi is not really going to cancel out, so we'll focus on uh, these other numbers here. Uh, looks like 10 goes into both of them. And then I can reduce the 3 and the 18. Pi over 6. So there's our radian measure, pi over 6. Now, even if the angle is negative, this is still a perfectly great way that you can convert back and forth. So let's take negative 495, multiply it by pi divided by 180. All right, let's see. Uh, again, looks like 5 goes into each of these. I'll give me negative 99 pi over 36. Um, then I think 9 will go into both these. So negative 11 pi all over 4. Nothing else will cancel. So there's our proper radian. All right, so we've done this direction. Let's do the other direction. And the only big change is I'm going to flip that fraction over. So let's take 29 pi, and we'll multiply by 180 over pi. Now, one way that I really keep these fractions straight, like should I be multiplying by 180 over pi or pi over 180, is I kind of think of what I want to get rid of. You know, if it's already in radians, chances are it has a pi, and I want to get rid of that pi, so the pi is going to be on the bottom. All right, let's see what we got. So pi's are common, they will cancel out this time. And now I'll just be looking at the numbers that are left over. Uh, 15 goes into 180 12 times. So now I just have 29 times 12. So 348 degrees. There we go. There is our degree measure. Here's a nice one. Pi over 4 multiplied by 180 over pi. So I'm making sure that pi is on the bottom so those guys cancel. Uh, 4 goes into 180 45 times. So 45 degrees. And one more, uh, let's see, 3 pi over 5 multiplied by 180 over pi. Cancel out these little pies. Uh, 5 goes into 180 uh, just like it did last time. Let's see, what's left over? Uh, 3 times 36. So 108. Not bad. So again, the key is remembering, you know, what should you multiply it by in order to uh, convert it to the proper radians or to degrees. And it's all about multiplying by pi divided by 180 or 180 over pi. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.